just talking, I don't want to be a good preacher. But I want God to use me to bless people. That's all. Who am I competing with? Praise God. What kept them from hitting the call was what? What they had. But I dare say also, what they did not have helped the matter. They did not have their eyes of their understanding enlightened. Let me show you what they did not have. Just write these scriptures down. Trust me, when you check them, you'll find them accurately. Isaiah 51 verse 1. Isaiah 51 verse 1. Revelation 21, 6 to 8. Revelation 21, 6 to 8. Revelation 22, 7. Revelation 21, verse 6 to verse 8. Revelation 22, verse 7. John 7, 37 to 39. John 7, 37 to 39. All those scriptures talk about how the water of life is free. You don't need to pay. From Old to New Testament. On the great last day of the great feast, he lifted up his voice. He said, Whosoever is thirsty, let him come and drink freely. Out of your village shall flow out rivers of living water. How? Come and drink without money. Revelation 31. He said, Come and drink freely. Those of you that have no money. Revelation 22 say, The Spirit and Bride say, Come. And let it that he has say, Come. To everyone that is thirsty, let them come and drink of the wife, water of life freely. All they were running after were the things he has provided. Just like Peter that was saying, I will, I'm going and fishing. He couldn't cut, cut jack. And when he came back, fish was already on fire. Kilon Lewaka. Kilon Lewaka. He's able. He who has called us is what? Masikaya Bashataya. Montelega. Vigado Shataya. He's able. Emma Bawansale Jaye. We have our own race. It's more than enough. I did a message. I call it the cross and the stuff. <laughs> the cross and the stuffs. Cross against the Woto. Oto didn't come in, man. Jesus is going to call it. You are not doing something else to the cross. Impossible can't to complete the journey. The cross and the stuff. Cross alone, you need help. You are not carrying other things. I told them, I, I went somewhere. I just spent big money on the AC of my car. Two days after, crash. I managed again. I don't like that AC. Do it again. Crash. I was here in another car in Lagos. I was somewhere else. This is, sell it off. I cannot serve good two gods. Sell it off. Cannot serve two gods. This only one I'm serving you. This in Bomotis today. I will not be serving cars. You wake up in the morning and be thinking, ah, close my room for lock. Bye. Oh God. What you What you have has become a snare. Say off. Learn number one. Deba, you must do your emoji gokada. Benny, emoji gokada. Molo jamala. I'm not going to be long one at eighty. I'm going to be Okada, yeah, lamala, search. I enter Molue. Only, Uncle, only, Uncle. Only, can you problem me? Only. Ah, Pastor. Ah, you see. Can you want some be? <laughs> we can laugh. I want to get a little bit of a lot of money. You know, I think we're going to be a little bit of a lot of money. Complete fidelity, brethren. That's our call. He's not been a good preacher. He looks like a good preacher. She might be preaching, preaching. 
I'm just talking. Am I not talking? I'm just talking. I'm just talking. I'm just talking. If you call it preaching, that's, that's you. I'm just talking. I don't want to be a good preacher. But I want God to use me to bless people. That's all. Who am I competing with? What they had kept them away. Now, our call. Call to what? There are several things that the Bible mentioned in the Bible that we are called unto. Say so we are called unto obtaining an inheritance. Let me just start from there, but that's not where I'm going. <laughs> Say it's ready, yo. My mom will call you from again to love him. Praise God. <laughs> you see? Hebrews 11 verse 8. Check for me. Hebrews 11 verse 8. The Bible said God gave a promise to Abraham of an inheritance. How did he get it? By faith, Abraham, uh -huh. when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance. He was going to receive for an inheritance. And the Bible says we are also called to obtain an, a blessing as an inheritance. Now, how did he get it? That's the only way you can get it to. How? Obeyed. Thank you. That's where I'm going. He did what? Not knowing whither he went. Whither he, went. he just did what? He went out Faith is obedience. He obeyed. No question. That's the sign of the disciple. <laughs> the man of God sitting down here, he preached a message. 1993. I'm sure you can't remember. I'll come back with He said, that love with God, when God has spoken, is monologue. You remember Balaam? You are just on your own. That love with God, when he has given his final verdict, is monologue. You are talking to yourself. Oti law. Oko to law lon se wo si. E jo si mo le ba yin de akesan. A be ma gba na akesan oko ti law. When God has given his word, Certified word on any matter. Every dialogue you call it is monologue. You are talking to yourself. Praise God. Amen. Complete fidelity. That's our calling. So, how did he get his own inheritance? He got it by what? By obedience. How do people obey? What brings obedience? Uh huh. Hebrews 5 8. Okay. No, that though, my son. though Jesus was a son, Yet learn he obedient through what? By the things which he suffered. Me, I no go suffer. <laughs> Even Jesus, born without the nature of sin, could not obey without suffering. Go and take all your Greek and German and Aramaic and everything. Suffering is suffering. I'm off your bread to call me over. Suffering is suffering. And he defined it in 1 Peter chapter 4 from 12. Say, when you suffer, don't suffer as a sinner. In verse 16, if, he said, if you suffer for, for as persecution, he said, the Spirit of, of God and of grace draws rest upon you. He didn't say pray it will come. He said it is resting already. And that's our call. I'm showing you the connection between suffering, inheriting a promise, suffering, obedience, inheriting a promise, leading us to the hope of our calling. I will show you the hope of our calling now. Jesus did not come to die for us to make us pastors. One thing. Romans chapter 8 from verse 1. There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made us free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do, in that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his own son in the lack likeness of sinful flesh and for sin. 
He didn't come to work miracles. He didn't come to make us millionaires. He didn't come to raise the dead. It's just like a child that went to school and ate, and ate in school, played football. That was not why he went. Those things were just by the side. Jesus came for one thing, sing. 